Now what we've got here is my pump testing bench that I've been making. Um, basically a hydraulic motor, a couple of pillow bearings. Um, I turn that bit of shafting down, that's a bit of old uh, Sherpa half shaft. Uh, there's a DI uh, pump pulley on the end of the shaft there. That drives up to the Ford 2.5 DI crank pulley because uh, I wanted to run this motor pretty slowly. We've got to run that up to, to 2000 RPM so I don't quite know whether I can get this going <coughs> at that speed and you're better off running them slower anyway. Um, what I've done is base mounted the pump. You can see normally they bolt on the flange there onto the timing cover but because of how things are I've turned up some spacers here so I can base mount it because there are three mounting holes in the bottom of the pumps. Um, all I need now is to connect that up to a hydraulic pump. I've got a big hydraulic pump over here. I use that for running my wood splitter. It's got a 15 horsepower motor on, so should have plenty there. Now I should be able to run this at various speeds. Um, the idea is we're just going to put a bypass pipe between the flow and return uh, with a needle valve in it. So you open the valve up more, it bypasses more oil, so it should slow the motor down. So I should, in theory, have an infinitely variable speed. We'll see what happens. Now I needed this to be fairly substantial because uh, we don't want the belt jumping off and they need to be lined up. So I thought the easiest way of doing it was I had a couple of these blocks um, from another job. So I turned a piece of three quarter shaft down to half inch on each end and just used these bearing blocks as a hinge so it's a very tight hinge there's going to be no flop in it because those are pretty well a press fit in there and basically to put the pump on all we do is it's hinged at this end I've just got an old screw jack here and as you can see we can just take the belt off take the pump off no problem so obviously when you fit it on, we just put the belt back on like that. And tension it up. So all we need to do now is make some holders up for these injectors and just steady the pipes. Um, probably connect them to some flexi hoses uh, and drop them down into either separate containers or one just to catch the juice coming off and when it's running then we can measure the fueling. Um, the prime reason for doing this is actually setting the dynamic timing. We've got a gadget that bolts on here and tells how far the advanced pistons moving at certain um, pump speeds and you can set that up with shimming and adjusting the internal pump pressure but that was the main reason for doing this. Um, a bit of work to go yet, not too much, just got to get a couple of hydraulic fittings, fix a fuel supply up, um, and that's about it. Good, good, good. Thanks for watching.